pride. Pride is a very tricky sin. It's a tricky sin because we ultimately don't know the intentions and motives of other people. Sometimes we don't even recognize or see the intentions and motives of our own heart, of our own sinfulness, right? That's why it's so important when someone brings it before you and says, hey, brother, it seems that you are acting in pride here. That you should really take a good self-reflection and say, let me examine that because that's a hard sin for one. Because one, I can't tell you, say to Mike, Mike, you're being prideful. I can say it, you're displaying acts and seems like you're being prideful in the way that your, your conduct or your character is. But I ultimately don't know his intentions of his heart. But it's very important for us, again, to take that self-reflection because there could be pride there that we're just not seeing. And other people are seeing our character, our conduct, the way we're, we're speaking to people, or the way that we are elevating ourselves. And therefore, it needs to be addressed. And we would rather, as Christians, we should, we, we should um, rather have that correction and that self-examination, as Paul says, examine yourself, rather than find out that, we were an abomination unto the Lord, maybe not even saved because we were acting upon this pride that was in our heart. As you said, Michael, not just the sin of pride, but that's what's in my heart. That's who I am, right? And so that's a very, very serious thing.